Yeah, but here's looking at you. Even if I was looking at you, I never would have saw how that was done anyway. But... <laughs> it's magic. Remember, this is a magical house, and anything in it can become magical if you just believe. You mean, uh, this apple's magical? Ah, I can do a very magical illusion with that apple. But first, Debbie, can I borrow your handkerchief, please? Yeah, I sure. can put that down, Cherish. There we go. Okay, Anne, I'd like you to take this handkerchief, and so that you'll recognize it when you see it again, perhaps you could just sign it right across the, the top, top of the no handkerchief there. No autographs, please. Just <laughs> kidding. Okay, you just okay. take the pen, write your name right across there, and so we'll recognize the handkerchief when we see it again. There we go. I'm going to do something so miraculous, I want you to all know the handkerchief. There we go. I can recognize that. That's, That's your so signature. Hard. Okay. You now, here we go with the apple. Cruz, I'm just going to take the apple and this little apple core here. I'm not going to core the apple. I'm going to put the core right through the center of the apple and make kind of a, a hole right through there like that. You know, speaking of apples, I used to work at a ballet company where the director was so mean to the girls. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Really? It was rotten to the core. Uh, <laughs> not even magic can help that joke. Here, Cherish, you hold on to that. Now, there's the magic scarf. The first thing we're going to do is take the little apple here. Don't eat it. Good. Put it right down there. You can see the hole right through the center. And I'm going to fold it up into a little package. Now, Anna, you hold on to the napkin. Hold it up in the air like that. And now I'm going to get to the second part. This is the part I put the handkerchief in a safe place so that I won't lose it. Get it all down in there? What? It's gone. But there's an old magician's expression that says, a wrapped apple gathers no handkerchiefs. But sometimes, even a magician can be surprised. Look, we'll just rip off the, the napkin here. Hold on to the apple, Cherish. And look. Is that your signature? Is that your handkerchief? That sure is. You can hold on to that. And I'm going to give Bruce and Cherish here part of an apple. You just enjoy that, okay? Uh, that's, that's totally amazing, but can you do it with a grape? Well, only if you have a very short name. <laughs> Did you know that in every house there is an object that is very magical? Really? What is it? It's a mirror. A mirror gives you a very perfect illusion. But the thing about mirrors is that the objects reflected in them are just that. They're just illusions. But in my magical house, I can make those illusions become reality. Uh, I think you've been drinking too much of your chocolate milk. <laughs> no, it's true. Come with me over to this mirror. Let's start with these pieces of a magazine. Now, we all know that magazines make money, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think there's ever been a magazine that can can make money like this. Watch. Look at that. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, thank you. Now, Anne, if you just hold this money up to the mirror, I'll show you how you can double your capital without moving a muscle. All we need is a solid plate glass mirror right here. Now, I'm going to try to grab the reflection right off the mirror. Watch. I think I used to read magazines when I could have been cutting them up and making a fortune. Unfortunately, it only works in a magic house. But let's see what other wonders are reflected here. The next thing we need is a beautiful magical candle. I just light it, blow on the... And look at that. Changes into a beautiful flower for you. Now, with the magical candle, we can do many mysteries. The first one of which is to pass a solid flame right through the silk handkerchief, leaving it completely... Unharmed. Ann, you take the candle, hold it right there. I'm going to try to catch the flame right down here in the mirror. They say that things look better by candlelight. If that be the case, now things should look twice as good. Don't you think? Now, I've got an ordinary piece of paper, Ann. Right Nothing here. you have is ordinary. Perhaps you're right, but in a magic house, a piece of paper can become a beautiful bird, look, in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah, I see that. Certainly, but you realize, of course, that this bird is just made of paper, correct? It can't really do the things that real birds do. Why not? I thought you said this was a magical house and anything is possible. Well, almost anything, but I can't make a paper bird fly, but perhaps this 
is the next best thing. Watch as I again try to peel the reflection right off the mirror. There are a lot more wonders to behold in the room of the future, so don't wander off. Is the room of the future behind an unopened door? Well, we'll get to that later, but right now, let's get ready to leap through time. I'm ready. So am I. I think I'll stay here for a while. Why don't you put that magazine? I want to stay here and cut myself up a fortune. <laughs> Doug Henning's World of Magic will return after these messages.